All right, this procedure is for the HP Color Laser Jet MFP M880 transfer kit replacement. Also, the secondary transfer roller and the fuser unit itself, the replacement for that, and some of the feed rollers in the cassettes as well. So if your machine is, is indicating that the transfer kit is low, or if you print out a configuration report as you see right here, and it says transfer kit order D7H14A, and you can tell that the gauge is all the way to the left, which is very low. Um, that means that the transfer kit assembly needs to be replaced. So let's get that started here. All right. So, so I sped this up just because there are no tools you need. I will. It's all by hand. So first, we're going to remove the fuser unit, just the two blue latches. Bring down the sec secondary transfer roller. Pull that roller out. I got out the new one. Slide that right into place. Again, no tools, no screwdrivers. Just slide it in, and it should lock right into place. Next, the transfer belt latches. Lift both left and right latches up. Pull transfer belt out. Get out the new belt and slide the new belt in. Very simple process to replace these items in the HP M880. Lock the latches down, lift up the STR assembly, and re-input the fuser. Wipe it up a little bit. The maintenance kits come with these yellow dust cloths. Next, we're gonna replace the feed rollers in the cassettes. Pull out the tray. It comes right up and out and there are three rollers per cassette. It's, a, it's the take-up roller first, and then the upper feed roller and the lower separator roller. This clips, hold it in, and slide it in and make sure it locks for all three rollers, and you are good to go for, for that cassette. Re and putting back the cassette back in. HP makes it so, so super easy for these rollers and consumable items to be replaced um, by hand basically without any tools so this is the second tray feed rollers very simple slip right in make sure it locks now I've had instances where we put the rollers in and for some reason it doesn't lock rollers slide off of its shaft causing jams so just make sure when you're sliding the rollers back on that the actual locking levers slip right into the groove of the shaft so it locks into place otherwise the rollers will slip a little bit off track and will not get engaged by the coupler that it's going up against um, and wouldn't get any any drive to feed the rollers or to separate and cause can cause jams so just make sure as you lock that those rollers in you, you kind of move that roller back and forth to make sure it's in the locking position. Now these are the tray three. This is the last tray on the bottom, the fourth tray, the very bottom tray. So I'm just taking it out all by one hand. I'm using my thumb to op lift up the latch and pull each roller out and then pushing it in as well and making sure that it locks into place. So that's the feed rollers for all the cassettes. Very simple. You can probably do this maintenance kit in about, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe even less than that. Um, and what happens is um, when you turn the machine on, the transfer kit count would automatically reset. So there's no reset procedure for the transfer kit. There's actually a, um, a system on the transfer kit itself to recognize that it's a new one and resets your counter. So that's the HP Color Laser Jet M880 MFP maintenance kit replacement. Have a great day.